All right, I'm getting ready to make a fringe. And what I've done is I've taken my Super Sculpty and run it through my pasta machine, through the spaghetti uh, part of it. And I'm separating the different strands because they get all crumpled up together in the pasta machine. It's not a perfect way of doing things like this, but... I take out the strands a little bit at a time and uh, put them together. So it's going to take a few minutes and I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting in sections and I'm trying to keep them all the same length. So I'm using my caliper to do that with. All right, I'm just uh, trying to put on this fringe. I'm not sure I'll I'm happy with what's going on here with it. And uh, it's really hard to do something this small. Okay, I'm going to just fill in behind where the uh, fringe will be because I can't have a bunch of vacant space underneath it. Okay, I'm taking a different tack. I'm starting from the bottom and working up. And I'm going to have to fill in behind this fringe. Let's see, I've got to do something here. Yeah. I'm going to have to fill in behind that fringe with clay because it's too thin to get away with uh, doing this. Okay, this looks, this looks more like fringe. I just got to figure out a way of doing this so they can cast it. Now you see why I put the uh, piece of clay right behind that. Okay, I'm going to do this leg now. Uh, this is how that one turned out, and I think it looks pretty good. I'll wait and take it to the uh, foundry to, before I do anything else with it and find out uh, if what I did is okay or if I have to do some filling in. 
All right, I've been separating these strands that I just ran through of my super sculpty uh, through the uh, pasta machine, the spaghetti part of it, and I'm just separating the uh, strands a little bit. I don't want them to get to adhere to each other too much right now. And I want to get rid of the curly cues like this one here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take this Ronsonol and I'm going to, I got little globules of uh, the clay, uh, the regular clay, on top of my fringe. It just happens. I mean, you're working with two different clays, you're bound to get little globules of clay on your clay. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. And then I'm going to paint it to be the same color as uh, the uh, rest of the clay. All right, tomorrow I'm going to make the uh, bow scabbard, which will be hanging off his back here. And uh, that means he's going to have a strap going down to the bow scabbard, which is going to put a little strain on some of these uh, items. I might have the strap go underneath the uh, front flap on this uh, shirt of his. And once I get all that, then I can put the ermine hanging off of his uh, headdress. And uh, I think uh, this is going to come together pretty quick once I get that. I've got to uh, make that spear. And I've got everything set aside over there. Uh, for that, so I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting uh, these areas of uh, Super Sculpty that I've already put on. It makes no difference in the casting. It all comes out looking the same. But for my eyes and for the eyes of people who look at the sculpture in a photograph, or in a gallery in clay it helps to have the clay looking like the surrounding clay all right i'm happy with how the fringe turned on the turned out on the uh, clay and uh, as you can see it looks just like the clay around it which is good and you can see that all the detail has come out nicely in the beadwork that I tried to show or indicate in the uh, flap and on the uh, panels going on his arm there. I'm not going to have fringe on his sleeve. Um, I will have it on the outer edge of the uh, beadwork because I want to keep it down close to the body as much as I can because of uh, casting costs. I've added the, the shield and the spear. Of course, I got work to do on the spear. That's not the way it's going to look. That's just the uh, armature for it. Just to show you how this piece is going to look. And uh, I think it's going to look great. I've, uh, I'm really happy the way this is all turning out. All right, everybody. Good night. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.